What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and today is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. So anyways, we made it Darlington Dragway. Finally, we're here at the quarter mile and uh, we're going to get the GS2020 GSXR 1000 out and the ZX14. We're going to see what these puppy. Uh oh, we had a truck wreck on the way down the road. The snap-on truck crashed. We lost, <laughs> flipped over a few things, forgot to strap down the tool truck before we left. But anyways, we're here. We're gonna see what this GSXR will do through the quarter mile tonight. Finally, we drove three hours away to get here and uh, we're gonna make a few hits and then we're gonna head on back in tonight. Got about six hours of driving for about two or three passes on each bike. So, but we're doing it for you. All right, guys, stay with us. Here we go. Dragway. We're out on the track right now. Check this out. Look what Darlington Dragway bought for moremafia.com. Boom! They got a banner, guys. YouTube's only motorcycle drag racing vlog channel. Moremafia.com or More Mafia YouTube. Whatever, dude. Actually, I was just kidding about it. They didn't actually buy it. I actually bought it to put it there. But anyways, how cool is that, guys? We're giving back to the tracks that give to us. We love Darlington Dragway. This is our number one test spot. We appreciate all that they do for this. They support us. We support them. All right, guys, I just had to show that thing off. I'm so proud of it. What's up, guys? Man, does it feel good to be here. Darlington Dragway, quarter mile. First pass on the 2020 1000. All right, hopefully you can hear me a little better. He just shut the blower off. <laughs> guys first pass here we go We're shooting for some 820s hopefully the little guy can do it this will be the first pass ever in the quarter mile seven thousand rpm launch our gearing was right it went, we were getting every bit of it but it went through the quarter mile made it through without hitting the rev limiter that was the uh, main thing I was concerned with so that was a 1648 on the gearing with the new more mafia transmission the lower first gear that uh, did the trick so uh, it's about I know you can't tell what it feels like here but it's a little hot and muggy so it's about 75 degrees maybe a tiny bit warmer I'm sweating and it's a chance of rain uh, tomorrow so it's humid humid boom just like that right off the trailer 826 161 went a 527 in the eighth 130 60 foot so i kind of goofed up on the 60 foot i think we can go a little faster all right guys let me know what you think
right, guys. So we just made the first two hits on the uh, the 1000 and the 14. I made two hits on the 14. I kind of screwed up the first pass, went an 892. The second pass, we came back around, went an 887 at 158 miles per hour, went a 579 in the eighth mile. That is basically about as good as I've been in the eighth. Uh, I messed up on the shifting a little bit on the back end. I cut it a little short and I messed up. Remember, I still don't have an air shifter or a quick shifter on this thing. So the quick shifter, I finally broke down and spent the money and bought a quick shifter for it. It should be here just any day now. The 1000, here we go, boys. That's what we all been waiting on. 826 at 161. I goofed up on the leave on it. I went a 130 60 foot. Went a 527 in the eight. <laughs> so it's muggy out here. It's like 75 degrees and the humidity is really high because it's a chance of rain tonight slash tomorrow all day so it's definitely humid out here kind of sticky so i feel like that i'm not gonna say hurt my performance but it definitely changed it a little bit i just got to change my riding a little bit to adjust to that but man i believe we're going as soon as it cools off a little bit like i said once we get uh eight or nine o'clock tonight temperature drops down a little bit hopefully we go some bottom bottom 20s we'll see what happens All right, guys, pass number two with the 1000. See what she's got. I messed up on the launch last time. We got to get that right. We're having a, we ain't doing good today. We got to turn her up and let her eat. I've convinced I don't like the shim that I've got in this clutch. It is uh, pulling the motor down a little bit. So we're going to go back and pull. That was a pretty good pass. I don't think it was any better than the first one. The clutch is too grabby. I've got it too stiff. I don't like it. I'm going to go back and we're going to pull the clutch cover off. Take a little bit of shim out of it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, shims in the clutch, basically we're just taking the spring off the pressure plate on the clutch and we're putting basically just spacers behind the shim or behind the spring, which makes the spring a little stiffer. So 830 flat, 160, 129, 60 foot, 529. So like I said, I definitely... I knew right off the bat that pass wasn't as good as what we were hoping for. So we're going to go back and change that clutch and get that thing right. All right, guys. So we made the second pass on the 1000. You heard me complaining about the clutch. So anyways, we've got it out. We got it apart here at the track. We got the pull those washers off or pull reduce it down and uh, try it again guys here we go i think this will probably be our last pass it's about 9 p.m we got a three hour ride to get home so we gotta go to work tomorrow we got a gen 4 zx10 over here beside us Hey 
got my lineup man helping me out this time, BJ. Putting us over here in the outside groove. Says it's a little better. A lot of street cars running tonight. This is just a normal test and tune. But this track is killer, man. I love this place. Always a good time. All right, baby. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. We need that 125. baby that was all she got the tongue was definitely hanging out the little guy when we got to the 1320 good pass good pass good 60 that time man it's crazy what 50 thousandths of shim 50 thousandths guys that's like the thickness of a dime if it's even that thick anyways that's all we did pulled out one 50,000 shim out from under each spring and we went from the herky jerky to the smooth as butter what do we get give me a 24 823 guys damn i'm pretty good i caught it pretty close 823 524 in the eighth 823 at 161 127 i'm pretty happy with that all right guys that's uh probably gonna be my last pass so we're gonna wrap it up here in just a second what okay, okay, okay. all right guys so we just made the uh what's gonna be our last pass of the night 823 at 161 524 in the eighth mile guys i told you this little 1000 is a bad mammer jammer so uh the da the density altitude is 1250 feet right now if it was cool outside like let's just say 55 degrees and the air was nice and dry so tonight we had a lot of humidity but if it was nice and dry and we had uh cooler temperatures dude we're 18s all day long we're talking about like an 816 maybe a 519 and an eight it's a purebred gangster all right guys that's it thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe to the channel we only gonna go faster so now that we're done with this thing on motor it's time to put the go-go juice on it this week and we're gonna be ready to spray it i'm gonna show you how to go way into the sevens on the gas all right guys that's it thanks see you